So what's bugging you? Uh, my it, the, the lower back. Yeah. And it's on the right hand side primarily, the middle, and, right. and it seems to be stabbing here and then across. Okay. Abdomen? Uh, no, more so more towards the back. Okay. Sounds good. Maybe a uh, belt and jeans. How tight are those jeans? Who wants to go to Disneyland? Come, 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 get over here. We're gonna go to Disneyland. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh yeah. Barney, Barney, get over here. Let's go. Disneyland, here we come. Disneyland, Disneyland. Hold on, hold on. Okay, get that shit, that shit. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Disneyland. We're going to Disneyland. Have you ever been to Disneyland? Very good. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Disneyland. Let's go. Hudson Barney. Hi, baby. Oh, this is so cute. Disneyland. Disneyland. Just kidding, guys. We're going to the vet. Okay, guys. Go for it. <laughs> okay, come here. How you doing? <laughs> Barney thought he saw a squirrel. See that dog behind us? That is a majestic. What are you looking at? You're pretty good looking too. Party. Sit. 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 13.7 kilos. It's okay. <laughs> 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 Who did that? <laughs> Okay. Rabies distemper, 130 bucks. Guard pack lime, 200 bucks. Per dog. Would have been cheaper for us to go to Disneyland. Quite long when I do this. Hello, oh, Dorn, it's <laughs> pointing this way. <laughs> Somebody wanted me to bring back the longer vlogs. It wasn't me. <laughs> okay, so, okay, could you get out of the car again? Go, go. So natural. So I want everyone to appreciate that whenever we have the natural coming into the car, we had to get into the car, put the camera down, start recording, get in focus, then get out, and then come back into the car. Sorry, someone's waiting for this parking spot. Let's go. As though it's a- thinks you're totally crazy. <laughs> so somebody wanted a longer vlog, uh, and this is going to be the perfect opportunity to do a vlog that I've always wanted to do on Parkinson's Law. Parkinson's Law. Look it up, but I'm putting a definition right now. The time it takes to complete a task will expand exponentially to fit the time you have to complete the task. Jesus. <laughs> so now I have to go all the way home. Where are you? All the way, hey, 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 <laughs> you know. Hi everybody, David. Uh, I have to go all the way home. I'm gonna have to walk the dog. I've already walked the dogs three times. I'm gonna have to walk the dogs again. Then I have to drive all the way to the physiotherapist. He's gonna have to take my shirt off. Is this Parkinson's law or 
lazy day off. <laughs> this is Parkinson's law and lazy day off. Okay, high five. Bye. Yeah, see you soon. Uh, I was also told we don't kiss enough on camera. Let's work on that. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, and Parkinson's law is not to be confused with the 80-20 rule. They're similar but different. The 80-20 rule dictates that 80% of the work can be done in 20% of the time, whereas the remaining 20% of the work is going to take up 80% of the time. The 80-20 rule basically means that you get enough of it done for it to be good enough without having to waste exponentially more time to make it perfect. Parkinson's law is different. Hello, Bonnie. How are you doing? How you doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's one of the reasons why I hate not being busy all the time. No one is immune to Parkinson's law. If you have more time than you need to accomplish a task, you're going to expand that task in order to fit the time you have to accomplish it. Right now I'm going to edit a movie and I have exactly 45 minutes before my physiotherapist who's gonna to try to repair my back. Oh God. So I'm gonna get the work done in 45 minutes. Period. Maybe. But Parkinson was famous for other laws as well. He had the famous Parkinson's law on mundanity, meaning that the more mundane the decision, the more time people are gonna spend discussing it. How you doing? The lonely drop of water left over from the storm as it withers away, dried up by the sun. And if you're unfamiliar with what I mean by this Parkinson's law of mundanity, classic example, partners meeting can discuss the most complex issues like share structure, dividends, what rights to ascribe to each shares, and you'll spend a few minutes discussing these things and everyone will be in agreement, mm -hmm, good idea. Try to decide where to have the Christmas party, 45 minutes of heated argument, everyone's got an opinion, everyone wants to be heard, Parkinson's law of mundanity. The more mundane the decision, the more time people are going to spend discussing it because it's something that is easier for everyone to have an opinion on. Now I'm off to my physio. Interesting thing about this physiotherapist, his name is Scott Sternthal. He is a fantastic trail runner and apparently just won the marathon at Bear Mountain. I once ran a 50 mile race at Bear Mountain a few years ago. Finished in 12 hours and 45 minutes, but I finished. And between us, uh, I tend to think of physiotherapists as snake oil salesmen, so we're gonna see if this guy can work the magic that I was told he can work. Let me just uh, enter this one last detail and I'm all yours. Okay. That looks like my spine. Wet flower? <laughs> Not the broken thing. <laughs> okay. Full Talk disclosure, I don't believe that physiotherapists... I don't believe that I, I don't believe in it and I've always judged people who said they had back pain. Okay, fair enough. I'm Should not a physio. What do you do? I'm an osteo. Oh, that's even better. What does that mean? I'm an osteo... I'm an osteopath. There's, there's a lot of overlap between physio and, and okay. osteo, but we focus mainly on the structure, the structure of the body. Okay. And we, we initially look at like um, the whole body in a more global way okay. before we address the local symptom. We're always treating the whole body as well as the local symptom and doing our best to integrate everything so that we help get rid of your pain. So what's bugging you? Uh, my it, the, the lower back. Yeah, and it's on the right hand side primarily, but like it's it's it, it's in killing it. And I'm trying to find that spot. Don't do that. Okay. Because <laughs> that's bad for your low back. <laughs> but you feel it's coming from that higher spot I can, up I can here. I feel specifically in the spine. Yeah, specifically yeah, in the middle. Is. Okay. So sounds good. Maybe a uh, belt and jeans. How tight are those jeans? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get them, don't get them. <laughs> I'm just making sure they have no holes in them. Okay. <laughs> Can I say that bass fishing video you made? Best thing ever. Off the drum, right? Uh, yeah, the drum. That it, was it's, it's a top five moment of my life. It's not even like it was unbelievable. Which way do I go? Uh come cool, right over here. Okay. Come on up to your back. Turn around. Bring your head to the right. And just roll down your right side. The, the middle spot of your head. Start with your head. Oh sorry. Not as good right here. It's right here that's not bending as well. Can you crack it? Go in your stomach. Oh, okay. Oh. Just check out what's going on. So, fill me in on your life. Uh, you like. So, three kids, two dogs, and that'll explain a lot. One of them is paralyzed in the back legs. Oh, yeah, right. Um, and I was doing litigation for. 10 years, 11 yeah, years, and wound up the litigation side, started doing some corporate stuff, and then 
making YouTube videos and trying to uh, become known in that, in that realm. Extend your leg. Uh, like try to try to push my hand off. Yeah. Nice. Again. Flip over your stomach. Two seconds. Oh, yeah, bar that kills. Just cross your arms on your body. Look over your left shoulder. Nice big deep breath. <laughs> a little crack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Magic of <laughs> okay. what you do. These are trade secrets. <laughs> oh, I don't care. If people learn, that's great. I do sit at the computer all day on a, on a bad chair. Nice big deep breath. Exhale. Good. Go on your other side. Hips forward, drop the knee down, right, le right arm reach up towards the ceiling, left side bend, left rotation, and just breathe into it. Same thing on the other side. Almost weird. So how many years do you have to study? You're, you're six. Using, six years. Is it, yeah. is it an MD? Is it? No, it's a diploma of osteopathy. It's the highest, um, it, that's the degree in Quebec. The, in the States, DOs are doctors, okay. but they go through an American osteopathic colleges. It's the only place in the world where they're doctors of osteopathy. Okay. Everywhere else in the world, we're manual therapists. Okay. Okay, so first important thing, he was not a physiotherapist, he was an osteopath. Six years of studying, and other thing, I feel so much better, I feel like it's all in my head and totally psychosomatic as to why I feel better. He accurately identified that my left side was jacked up compared to my right, which is funny because I didn't tell him this because I didn't think of it, but when I've been jogging, I had been noticing that my right leg felt lower than my left leg, which was causing some pain in my lower knee. The pain is gone. There's a little bit of lingering pain in the muscle, but I guess that's to be expected from a week of absolute misery, but oh my gosh, it's... Yeah, crazy, crazy. Let's go lift some children.